yo what is up mace here and i'm back in my brother video and today we'll be going over the best graphic settings for cold war this is going to improve your fps and the quality of how this whole game looks man it's gonna look amazing once you do apply my settings i'm up i'm about to give you so before you do get into this video man please be sure to go down below drop a like hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single upload on the channel because for sure man youtube is not sending out my videos so i really do recommend you hit that notification bell it's going to show a lot of support to my channel and you will never miss an upload all right so i'm going to be giving out two shout outs today man see i'm pretty generous today so i'm gonna give out two shout outs first one goes to homeboy skeet man thank you so much for support and the other one goes to anya Thank you so much uh for support and uh yeah man if you guys want to shout out in the next video comment down below may squad and i'll definitely shout you out man so yeah man let's just get straight into the settings i think it's really gonna help you guys out uh if you guys have a nvidia graphics card or if you have amd and this is going to specifically work for pc guys for controller um if you guys are on console this video is not for you what you want to do is you want to go to the graphics now i might have my display mode at full screen i really do recommend you do this as well um honestly i think it's gonna look pretty weird having it anything else right here uh, for the monitor, I have it at 1, but you may have it differently if you guys are running like dual monitor setup for, for Cold War. So I just have it at 1 because I'm playing on one monitor. Now, for my refresh rate, I'm running 165 because my monitor can support 165. Uh, if you guys have a higher refresh rate monitor, definitely go to this setting and, and definitely enable this. Um, but yeah, man, you guys may have like 85, 100, 120. Just put it to whatever your monitor can support. All right, so if you guys can see these two settings, gameplay vsync and menu vsync, I want you to disable that completely. It's going to mess with your FPS and actually make it very, very low. It's going to absolutely ruin the game. It's going to make your quality a lot lower as well uh so just please 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 disable these two settings i know a lot of them actually my friends i have this enabled and it's not good man do not have this enabled at all now if you have an nvidia graphics card i really do recommend you enable this setting right here put it to enabled boosted this is going to help the low latency um on cold war so you guys won't have any type of input lag and you're going to be performing really really well in your game now, if you guys don't have a NVIDIA graphics card, you guys will see this right here, render resolution. Um, keep it to 100. Um, I think that's pretty much the best option for you. Uh, just keep it 100. Uh, it's gonna, the game is really, really going to look perfect. Now, for display resolution, I have a 1920 by 1080 because my monitor can support that. Um, if you have like a 4K monitor, I think the setting will be different for you. Uh, it may be like uh 1440 or 20 like all those numbers man it's gonna be 4k um uh, but yeah man you might have that so enable that as well but mostly you guys might have 1920 by 1080 so you guys can enable that now aspect ratio i have this automatic i think changing this is going to mess around with your game uh and also if even if you have obs or recording it's pretty much gonna mess the game up so keep it how it is colorblind mode um now i really really do recommend you change the enemy color to like a darker red um i think you're gonna see the enemies a lot better and it's gonna be really be helpful for you now guys i forgot to mention go to your go to your interface and go all the way down to, and enable fps counter and gpu temperature um you just want to always have this on so you know like how much if your, if your gpu is going to heat up and uh you know have the fps counter up as well so you know like how much your fps is increasing while i'm giving you these settings so let's go back to graphics man and let's go down to the field of view i have this at 115 um i think having this higher is going to make you a lot harder to see people and it's going to pretty much affect your aim a little bit too um people are going to look a lot smaller as well so it's going to be pretty difficult for you so i recommend have it to 115 um, if you think 115 is a little too high, you can also put to 110 or even 105, and just have it anything above 100, and I think you'll be all set. So for ADS field of view, I have it at around. I have it affected. I think that's the best one, and I've been using this. I've been using this since the game came out, so I'm pretty much used to this right now. Uh, for the brightness, I have it at around like 54, 53, 52 um this game it's a lot harder to see people this year so it, i just have it have it a little bit higher i think it's gonna be pretty helpful for you 
Um, now your frame rate limit, this is pretty important. Have it all limited. You don't want to cap your frame rate. I think that's, it's going to pretty much lower how your game is like rendering. It's really not good. I mean, I had this, I had this, I had this set to like 165 and it's not good, man. Just, it just do not put this on. Have it unlimited. It lets your game uh, run how it's supposed to, how it's supposed to run. Um, now you minimize game frame rate limit. This does not matter. You can have this anything you want. Keep it default. Um, I don't think you should really mess around with this. Keep it how it was, uh, as you see it currently. Now these are very very important, man. These are the graphic settings that I recommend you should run. Now, if these settings are messing around with you, if these do not work out, I'm going to give out an alternative to these settings right here. But this is what I run since I have a 2060 graphics card and. I can run this game pretty well at around like 150 FPS. So texture quality, I have around high. Model quality, I run high. Um, special effects quality, I have it around medium. Screen place reflection, I have it disabled. Object view distance, I have this at high. Water tessellation, I also enable this. Uh, volumetric lighting, I have this around medium. Shadow quality is also medium. Dynamic shadow is is rent is all is is all. Special effects shadows, I disable this. Weapon shadow, I also disable this. Ray tracing, you want to disable this, man. This is going to absolutely kill your FPS. Do not, I do not recommend this. Um, NVIDIA DLSS, if you have a graphics card that's NVIDIA, run this, put this to quality. It's very, very important. Ambient occlusion quality, disable this, man. Motion blur, you guys want to disable this. And yeah, man, that's pretty much it. All right, so that's it for the setting that I actually run on my game. Now, if you guys are having problems with this, if your FPS low or if your game is not looking that great or um, if you don't have that NVIDIA option right here, these are the settings that I recommend you should run right now. Now, let's go up here, man. Texture quality, put this to, put this, put this to medium. Model quality, put this to low. Uh, special effects quality, put it to medium. Disable screen face reflection. Object view distance, put this to medium. Water tessellation, disable this. Um, volumetric lighting, put these both to low. Um, dynamic, dynamic shadows, you can disable that. Um, disable these two settings right here, you don't need it. Ray tracing, disable that. So for anti-aliasing quality, I put it to ultra, so there's not like extra pixels run in, in the game. And it's gonna look a lot, it's gonna look really, really good for you. Um, ambient occlusion quality, disable this. Motion blur, disable this as well. And disable the rest of the settings, man. And that's pretty much it, man. Um, I think this is going to make your game a lot, a very, very, a lot better, man. I'm going to show you how it looks like with the settings that I just gave you guys right now. All right, guys. So, man, this is how the game looks with the settings that I just gave you, man. Um, I honestly think it looks very, very amazing, man. You guys can see literally the texture of everything, man. And that too, man. These are the, like, a very, very low settings that I gave you. And this game already looks amazing, man. I it, It's crazy. It's literally insane, man. Um, these are the things, these settings are very, very amazing, man. I hope this did, I hope this video did work, uh, work out well for you. Um, now I'm going to go back to settings that I personally run and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a difference. I think there's not much difference that it's really there for this game, but I'm going to just show you guys what I run personally. So I run these two at high. Um, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, I guess I'll disable this one not, man. I'm going to keep this at medium. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna enable dynamic shadows disable these two shadows down here uh, I'm gonna put this up to quality um, Now these are the first things that I actually gave you guys um, And yeah, so if you click apply that this these are the settings this is the Nvidia setting man um, Now you guys can see it's a little bit of a difference, but I think it looks very very nice man So I mean hope you did enjoy the video man drop a like hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video man Peace